the Touch of Malice is a very unique gun, a very awesome gun, and a very useful gun when you're in the raid. So how do you get it? First thing you want to do is the Shattered Past quest. You will acquire this quest line after collecting your first calcified fragment and then bringing it back to Eris and she'll ask you to collect five more. Once you complete that, you're going to want to continue collecting calcified fragments. You are going to need 45 of them to complete this quest line. I'm not going to show you where all 45 of them are in this video because then the video would be like an hour long. I imagine there are a grip of calcified fragment video guides that you can go and check out after watching this video. As you collect calcified fragments, you will then unlock another quest called Hunger Pangs. The first part of Hunger Pangs will become unlocked to you once you complete the Shattered Pass quest and collected 15 calcified fragments. Eris will summon you and she will then give you Hunger Pains quest which you'll see right here on my screen and the first part is the Promethean code where you got to go in and you got to kill an enemy and gather the essence. So you'll just go through the regular mission and then it's going to have a little specialized thing at the end and then you got to kill this friggin numb Brachus and once you kill him it doesn't take too much you will then get an essence of the feast and have to go back and talk to Eris Morn again. Once you go back to her and turn this in the quest line will be stopped. To continue the quest line, you need to beat the Old Hunger quest and also gather 30 calcified fragments. To attain the Old Hunger quest, all you got to do is boot up the raid and then leave and Eris will give you the Old Hunger quest. Now to complete the Old Hunger quest, you are going to have to beat the raid. For those people that aren't able to do the raid because you don't have people to play with, I am sorry but you're not going to be able to get this gun without being able to beat the raid. Once you go into the raid, you have to beat the War Priest the Daughters of Oryx, and Oryx himself. All three bosses will drop a specific item. The War Priest drops the Blade of Famine. You'll see here in a second. Once you kill the Daughters, they are going to be dropping the Shroud of Uranuk. There it is right there. And once you kill Oryx, you will get the Ravenous Heart. Those are the three items you are going to need to continue on the quest line to get the Touch of Malice. Once you complete the raid, you will then go back to Eris Morn, and the next step in the Old Hunger quest line is to buy a braced frame, which is going to be the frame for the Touch of Malice. You're going to need Worm Spore, Weapon Parts, and Hadium Flakes. So just go to Patrol on the Dreadnought, and what I like to do is I just stay in the first part, which is the Hole Breach, and just make this huge lap over and over and over again. Always come down here and check this room. Don't see any chests. They will spawn around that entire room on the right, on that little platform to the left over by the Wormsinger rune where you put that in. And just we're going to continue on. Check this little room. Sometimes the chest will be outside. Mainly it will be in the little corners. We are 0 for 2, but we're going to continue on. Make your way up to the Kapal ship. There will be a chest sometimes, though this one tends to not show up very often. But it will show up, so just run in here and check around to see what you have. Check this right corner, it's not there. There's a chest right here. It will spawn right there, it will spawn across the way, up on that little ledge sometimes. So just check around. Maybe only check it once every you know two to three circles, because that one I've noticed doesn't show up very often. And we're continuing on with the circle lap. We're gonna check this little room right here. And there it is. If the chest is not here, and we're going up to the next spot always make sure to check it on the way back because a lot of the times after you leave the room just a few seconds later a chest will spawn continue on with our loop the chest can spawn in multiple locations in this room just loop around the room there we go we got another chest another hadium flake and we're going to move on out the chest for this room can also spawn outside of the room to my right right here to the patrol beacon so on your way back down to make the loop just check this room again if the chest wasn't there because a lot of the times it does spawn and even when you do get the chest i've come back there 25 seconds later and it's been back probably lucky in that standpoint but always check on the way back i mean you're heading this direction anyway it doesn't hurt to just take a quick little peek and you're just going to continuously do this loop over and over and over if you are going on a dry spell and you're not having any chest spawn for like five minutes go to orbit and come back in but you're really not going to have a dry spell i mean there's been points where i've gotten like six chests in a row so once you get that you're going to go back to eris and you are going to buy the braced frame there we go we're buying it now you need to get 30 calcified fragments for the next part of the hunger pains quest line 
to show up. To get the 30 calcified fragments, you will then get the second part of the Hunger Pains quest, which is the Undying Mine. So boot up the Specialized Strike. There's going to be an enemy that spawns after you take the boss to about 50% health. A little bit lower than 50% health. It's going to spawn near the portal. So you need to be ready to kill this thing. Because if you do not kill it fast enough, the Vex will kill him. And then you're going to have to do it all over again. So just make sure you're prepared. So we have the boss at about 45% health, I would say, and we're getting prepared. We're by the portal, and I'm waiting for my friend to let me know. I have some rockets ready that the guy has come out. He will spawn near the portal, so just be prepared for it. And there are going to be a bunch of Vex around, so just be aware of that so you don't get caught up and die, and then they end up killing it before you can. So right here, my teammate's saying, he's out, he's out, he just came out. And I'm looking around, I have no idea where he is. My teammate's telling me he's lighting him up right now. It's that Taken he's electrocuting if you can see it. And there we go. We've killed him. And now it's the second Essence of Feast that you've gotten. So then you have to go back to Eris and talk to her. Questline will stop again. You then need to proceed to gather 45 Calcified Fragments. Once you do that, she will then give you the third and final step of the Hunger Pains, which is to collect another Essence of Feast boot up the fears embrace mission and there will be a special wizard enemy that comes out after you take little baby oryx down to about half health maybe a little bit lower than half health you see here we got him at about eh, 45 percent health so just work on clearing out ads around you because when the wizard spawns you want to make sure that you can just focus on her and not have to deal with other ads around so right here my teammate's saying she's out she's out she just appeared and just use your heavy sword we were shooting at first and i was like that's stupid i'm just gonna go sword her and she gets wrecked. And there you go. You are complete with all the quest lines, the hunger pains, the old hunger. And now you can go back to Eris and collect your reward. Now, if you are not going to be doing the raid, I don't know if you should do this quest line because you're not really going to be using this gun outside of the raid. Personally, I have never used the gun outside of the raid. Maybe some other people have, maybe in a nightfall or something, but. You're only really going to be using this inside of the raid, so if you're not going to be raiding on a consistent basis, I wouldn't even waste your time doing this. But if you're, you know, kind of like me and you like having all the guns and want to check out all the exotics and whatnot, then go for it. Just a little side note, to get the old hunger quest, make sure to go into the raid and then leave. Because if you don't leave, you do the whole raid then she's going to give you the quest and you're going to have to do the whole raid over again. So, you know, if you have trouble getting six people together, just make sure to remember to go in, leave, get the quest, then go back in and complete it. This gun's a whole hell of a lot of fun to use and is incredibly useful in the raid. You're doing Daughters of Oryx, you're doing Oryx. This thing is super OP on those two fights because you are immune while in an Aurora on those two fights and you can just spam this thing. So the only perk I'm really going to talk about is the Touch of Malice perk. The final round of the magazine regenerates and deals bonus damage at the cost of the wielder's life force. So once you get down to one round, you never run out of ammo. Though it does sacrifice your health, but with the Daughters of Oryx fight and the Oryx fight, you are immune inside the Auroras, so you can let this bad boy fly. Oh, and not to mention, it's full auto. This thing absolutely melts the Daughters of Oryx. You see right here... Now you do have to be careful using this gun though because if you are not in this Aurora bubble or for the Oryx fight you're not in his Aurora bubble and you're just using it to use it. Like I said when you get down to one bullet in the chamber it sacrifices your health to do more damage. You'll see right here I'm using it. I'm using it in my health bar. It's chunking way down with every shot at one. So just make sure you're actively thinking about reloading because the first time I was using this gun in the raid, it got me killed many a times because you forget about that. You're going full auto. You feel like friggin' Rambo and then you get shot like once by the ogre and you're dead because you only had like 15, 20% health. The nice thing about also having this equipped in the raid is you can use your sniper a lot more in the final fight on ogres and whatnot. Whereas before you kind of, you know, the first time doing the raid, the first few times you didn't have a touch of mouse or anything like that to shoot oryx with you had to be sparingly with your sniper it just makes the daughters of oryx and oryx it just makes those encounters a lot easier if you do have the touch of malice you can also have a titan pop a blessings of light bubble and you can use the touch of malice that way and you know you're dipping into the bubble you're out of the bubble you're dipping back into the bubble you're out of the bubble and that's going to help you not kill yourself if you have a titan that has blessing of light so you could use it 
you know, on War Priest and whatnot. And you can use it on the Vessel of Oryx. I kind of forgot that we had Touch of Malice. I was still sorting the Vessel of Oryx. And all of us that have Touch of Malice, we're just going down to one bullet. And we're going to be able to easily stun Oryx with Touch of Malices. It just makes everything so much easier here for the last two fights. Anyway, I hope this video guide has been helpful and it helps you get the Touch of Malice. Have a good day, guys. See ya.